Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So today we are looking at Masters of the Universe, Skeleton Warriors, Evil Armor, Evil Army of Skeletor, and they glow in the dark, baby. So let's get into this. So, picked this up off of uh, Big Bad Toy Store. Really nice packaging, of course, with the, the badass artwork. Really glad they made these and just didn't tease them on uh, Castle Grayskull's artwork. But there they are. Look nice. There's no embossing, it's just a shiny thing here. Skeletor isn't as shiny, but the, these guys are. You got another skeleton on the end there. And then just a hand with a sword coming out there. If for some reason I doubt it, but if you guys need a UPC, there you go. So, like I said, I got a big bad toy store. I want to get some more of them, but <clears throat> money's kind of slim right now. So, I'm going to pull these out of the package and take a look. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I slid this out of the box. That's the way it comes out of the box. With the cardboard tray. And then you get the, the comic book that's jumping out. Because I opened this previously to see what it looked like inside. Um, put that away for right this second. So you get the plastic tray. Which is nice with this. Is They, didn't, they made it in such a way... That you can pull this out and put this back into the box if you don't want to um, necessarily buy two or three or four or whatever. So I'm going to pause this video one more time, pull them out, and put some weapons on them and take a look. Okay, we're back. So you get this spiked mace kind of ball that's supposed to swing but it doesn't really you get a shiny fluorescent green sword which i think is like the one that came with uh castle castle gray skull but just green and snake mountain which is green so these are by far my favorite action figures for 2023 uh, from the Motu line um, that are not normal, like off characters, but I really like these. It did a fantastic job on the sculpts, um, the weapons. You can see this is like Scareglow's Hilbert, Hil whatever the hell it's called. Then you got the the shield, but what's nice is the the underneath, if you take the shirt off these guys, pull that off and just put the head back on. You got a cool dude with a, which just is, looks like kind of like a kilt and bare chested with the, all the bones on there. Let's get him out of the way there. So they're pretty much both the same. Just the different paint schemes. Come on, guys. Let's go. There we go. Now we can see the... Because you can see the, the spikes and the bones going up the rib or the backbone. And then he just has furry shorts underneath. So no big deal. And then bony legs. You can see where he's got... Looks like scars on the bones. Come on. Nice detail on the face. Would have been nice. I mean, the face has so much detail that if they did just like a light, if they had done a light brushing for to accentuate the detail, I think it would have paid off. If I get a few more of these, I might do it. But then I like the fluorescent green that's in the back. 
There's a little skull on the center of the helmet there, little spikes. So you got the purple version with orange, then you have the orange and silver version, which is basically the same thing, just a different paint scheme. Get the bad guy feet which are cool because skeleton feet probably wouldn't stand up very well. So, but got these. I think they're neat. They're definitely an army builder, even though they are they work out to like 16, 17 bucks a pop. Some people can't afford to army build like that. But um, I'm going to definitely try. Hopefully I'll make some more money coming soon and they don't run out of stock at Big Bad Toy Store. So I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys taking a look at the Skeleton Warriors from Masters of the Universe Origins line. New for 2023. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on... Oop! I almost fucking forgot. Damn. I'm glad I just caught myself. Sorry, guys. Let's check this shit out. Because I got a black light. And I'm going to warm these guys up a little. And show you the glow. If I didn't show you the glow, I would have had to made this thing all over again like a fucking idiot. So, let's do this. We'll shut this off. Show you the glowing apparatus. Zoom out a little. Okay. So, yeah, I got my black light. It definitely makes it intensify the glowing apparatus. The regular light doesn't seem to do it as well. So, bear with me for a second and we'll get a closer look. I'll get the, I'll get the bare-chested dude here real quick so you can take a look. But... You can see, let's see how crystal clear that might come out or might not. Hold on. Okay, I'm trying, guys. Give me a second. Okay, so it's the best I can do with the focus right now with my phone. See if I can set him back up. Now the weapons don't glow, guys. Just the just the bodies, but still nice. I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys taking a look at the Skeleton Warriors from Masters of the Universe. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.